Hi everyone, this question is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving practice question. It's a number of properties question, a yeah, counting methods question. The difficulty in this question is not about how much calculation we will have to do. Probably it takes a while to even wind our head around what are they saying in this question. That is probably what is going to make this question a medium difficulty question. Classify it somewhere in the 650 range, right. How many different positive integers exist between 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7? the sum of whose digits is equal to 2, right. As we solve this question, let us also place emphasis on certain things that we should not overlook whether they matter for this question or not, right. We will start by finding out what is 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7. 10 raised to the power of 6 is 1 followed by 6 zeros, right. So, this 7 digit number is 10 raised to the power of 6. The 8 digit number starting with 1 followed by 7 zeros, right, is going to be 10 raised to the power of 7, right. First and foremost, Whenever they say between, the end points are not counted. So, we are not going to include this number 10 raised to the power of 6, nor are we going to include the number 10 raised to the power of 7, right. So, essentially this is where we start. Now, we want numbers which are positive integers between these two numbers, sum of whose digits is equal to a 2, right. There are only two possibilities in the broader sense. Let us start with the easiest one, right. Possibility 1 is when the number first leftmost digit is a 2 followed by 6 zeros. Some of the digits of this number is a 2 as mandated by this question and this number obviously lies between 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7. So, essentially it is between 1 million and 10 million, 2 million lies in between that. So, this is what we have here. So, this is one number which lies between 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7, sum of whose digits is equal to a 2. There is a possibility 2 and in that possibility 2, instead of having one of the digits as a 2, we can have two of the digits of the number being 1s. So, 1 plus 1 will be equal to a 2. So, 2 of the 7 digits will be 1 and 5 digits will be 0, then that number will have some of its digits being a 2. That is evident. Now look at it. We cannot pick some random 2 digits out of the 7 digits to be 1. For example, if I wrote this number as this way, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 3, 6 and then right, 7 digit number. This number is not a number between 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7. This number is actually a 1001, which is actually a 4 digit number. It is a number that lies between 10 cube and 10 raised to the power of 4. So, obviously, if there are two ones out of these 7 digits. It is quite evident that the leftmost digit has to be a 1. The second one can take any one of these remaining 6 places. So, it could be a 1, 1 and 5 zeros. It can be a 1, 0 and 1 and the remaining zeros. So, 1 can take any one of these 6 places and the remaining 5 places can go to the 5s. So, how many ways can we fill this 1? We can fill it in 6 ways. So, we will essentially have 6 such numbers which are between 1 million, uh, one, which are between 1 million and 10 million, which is 10 raised to the power of 6 and 10 raised to the power of 7 sum of whose digits is equal to a 2 formed by using two ones. So, one number which is 2 million and then six numbers which start with a 1 and have 1 in one of these six places and the remaining five places being a 0. So, how many total numbers will we have? 1 plus 6 that is equal to a total of seven such numbers exist. Answer option B is the correct answer to this question.